And when we do, we will see how to be in that new place. And the angels are here to help you get there. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, Holy and you Ghost walk with Him by God saying words. Today. My name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. The if this is, is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Right. And if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. We're talking about a new you that can do things that you can't do. God has things for you to have. He has things for you to do, but you have to be changed into the kind of person or that person who does those things. And that might not be you right now. Most likely it isn't you right now. That's not you right now. Right now you just can't see it. Right now you just can't do it. You have to be changed into a different person who can see it and who can do it you don't know what you don't know you can't see what you can't see if you were to go on a long journey and you you went up onto the top of a hill you couldn't really see what was over on the next hill until you got up on top of the first hill right so you don't know what you don't know well God has things for you so to speak over the next hill but you can't see it yet that's what we're gonna be talking about tonight how do we get you there one who sees and knows the things that you couldn't before the changed you gets it the changed you sees it the changed you can do it Does this make sense I just can't see it I can't do it I can't know it yet yeah, because you haven't been changed but the change you say the changed me sees it the changed me knows it the changed me gets it well there is a way for you to get it wouldn't that be sad if there wasn't a way I just made I just made all these statements wouldn't it be sad if there wasn't a way for you to be changed into the person who gets it that's where we're going there is a way there's another side of scripture there's another side of promises where you are in it you are in the scripture you are in the promise you know a lot of times we look at a scripture and we go okay well I see that there's healing there and we look at it like okay uh, that would be nice or there's a there's a prosperity scripture and you go oh well that would be nice well there's another side of scripture right we're here what well, is another side of scripture where we are in it we are in that scripture we're living that scripture that's the other side of it that would be you seeing it that would be you getting it that would be you living it Is this making sense well the word and all the scriptures and all the promises the word doesn't care who you are no respecter of persons it works for everyone who will work it or it doesn't work for everyone who doesn't work it and we all know there's a lot more of those than people working it the people who aren't working it are the ones on that side of the scripture the people who work it and have learned how to work this say work the scripture are the ones who live it the ones who've been changed the ones who see it and get it and do it and live it which would you rather be would you rather be um, happy and feeling good about yourself in your religious condition or would you be a little bit uncomfortable but having results well this message makes me uncomfortable well we're gonna have some results this word if I work it will work for me say that this word 
if I work it will work for me Acts chapter 10 verse 34 God is no respecter of persons but in every nation he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted with him and I've preached on this many times the word fear is translated oftentimes in the same Bible same Greek word is translated worship so they that worship him and work righteousness preached on this many times working righteousness is speaking in agreement with God say speaking in agreement with God working righteousness is speaking in agreement with God fearing him is worshiping him so those that worship him I worship you Holy Ghost and work righteousness by speaking in agreement with him are accepted with him no respecter of persons doesn't matter who you are if you worship him and you speak in agreement with his word you will have specific results it will work for you the word doesn't care I like this I like that the word doesn't care who I am it only cares that I work it or in this instance speak it now I live these words and you will too if you stick around here long enough I've come to the other side of those verses of Scripture where I've changed and have that actually doing things for me listen you want to be careful who you listen to and who you follow because what they have will get on you what I have if you listen to these messages will literally get on you and will begin doing things for you Psalms chapter 118 and let's look at verse 4 let them now that fear the Lord what's that say let them that fear the Lord say remember that verse of scripture we just read he that fears the Lord and works righteousness here we have it says now let them that fear the Lord say that his mercy endures forever verse 5 I called or said I called upon the Lord in distress and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place now if you look these words up in distress meant in a tight place in a place of distress tightness and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place or you could simply say a larger place than you were before a place the tight place was where you couldn't see and you couldn't know and you couldn't do and the larger place was a place where you could see you could do so he set me in means he established me in a large place so he took you from that tight place and established you in a larger place so it's a larger place in that place you're going to be able to do do things that you couldn't do before in fact you couldn't figure it out you couldn't see it you couldn't know it but in the new place in the larger place you can do something that you couldn't do before in fact you weren't able to do it you weren't able to see it you weren't able to comprehend it you weren't able to understand it but you've become different you've become one who sees one who knows and one who does greater things I'm really trying to get this across when before you were changed you couldn't see how to do things then once you were changed you were able to see how to do it does that make sense so now you're able to do things that you couldn't do before because you couldn't see it you couldn't understand it so who was changed you was changed you've become different 
you've changed into someone who sees knows and does greater things than you were before see because the present you couldn't see it the future you that's changed can see it the present you couldn't didn't understand what to do what do I do what do I do but the changed you knows what to do has no problem with it present you can't do it new you can so the word transforms you into something new that can do so for instance right by saying or working righteousness this particular promise which doesn't care say it doesn't care but if I work it 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 works right Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it so if I were to begin saying the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it and I take up saying that see how I'm saying it I'm not thinking about it really I'm not trying to believe it I'm simply saying it I'm working the righteousness the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord what makes something what's this particular one gonna do it's gonna make something it's gonna make me something that I wasn't before how's it doing it because I'm working the righteousness it's making me rich when I wasn't before I was in a tight place before now I'm being made rich and added no sorrow with it are you here you know people would say ah blah 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 you just think this about yourself you think this about yourself you know I'm not thinking anything I'm not even believing anything I'm simply saying and my saying is the doing of the righteousness I hope you can hear that say my saying is the doing of the righteousness I'm working righteousness now your mind always wrestles with you when you're confessing the word was confessing that one for instance the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it your mind is always trying to get involved it's always trying to say ah, well are you thinking about it the right way are you thinking about it the right way are you believing it about it the right way the answer is no just get over it no you're not necessarily thinking about it. like I said until you get over into the changed you you can't think about it the right way you can't believe about it the right way but the way you get over to the changed you is by the vehicle of saying are you getting this so through me saying it I'm able to get over into the new me and then my thinking will be more right my believing will be more right you might not be thinking right about it you might not be believing right about it and probably aren't but are you saying right yes and amen and that's your job if you have the saying right listen if you have the saying right then the thinking and the believing corrects itself say if I have the saying right my thinking and my believing corrects itself even if it was a little off your saying is what directs it James chapter 3 talks about the tongue steering about the whole body steering about your whole life like the rudder of a ship your tongue is what 
corrects all of that yeah but I don't feel any different yeah but I don't I don't look any different you will as you begin and continue to confess the word your thinking will change your believing will change and then all of a sudden you'll be like whoa something just happened did you hear that whoa something just happened where, where did it ha it happened in that space of you confessing the word it happened if I was confessing the word the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it and I just walk back and forth in the room and confess that for 10 minutes well I don't feel any different well I don't look any different you keep going and all of a sudden whoa something happens something took place and you don't know how to explain it with your mind but your spirit man knows something happened I call this glimpses of clarity you just saw something that you couldn't see before you've been changed and in that particular verse of scripture you were changed from not made rich to made rich the blessing of the Lord made me rich whoa something just happened what happened I was somehow in some way made rich and no sorrow was added or no sorrow was removed the sorrow was removed glimpses of clarity I now see my way clear where I might have had a situation that I didn't know what to do now I see how to do what I need to do glimpses of clarity you see it you get it the new you and as you do these things you realize that in that place you can't lose there's a place of ultimate victory that wins every time it's a place you can't lose and you learn how to get there it's a learned thing and you can get there easier and easier once you've gone there now if I say Proverbs 10 22 I guess we're using that verse of Scripture the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it I'm developing my technique of speaking righteousness of saying what God said with repetitive use and I begin to think in line with that the blessing of the Lord makes me rich I think like a rich person I act like a rich person I talk like a rich person I do business like a rich person the blessing of the Lord makes me rich you make your tongue say the words because remember what's what's your tongue doing directing the ship it's directing you into that new place where you can see it you understand it well, I, I don't know how to be a rich person make your tongue take you there make your tongue take you there where's it gonna take you it's gonna take you to the other side rather than just looking at that verse of scripture going, oh, that's very nice it will literally take your tongue will take you to the other side of that verse of scripture where it will be the new you the new you is made rich no sorrow added say the new me is made rich no sorrow added that guy thinks differently that guy acts differently that guy do differently are you here make your tongue say it make your tongue form those words just like the tennis player hit that ball over and over against the wall you, know, you ever see those you go to a tennis court and they have this wall with a with a fake you know line there for the height of a tennis net and the guys will go up there and they'll just hit that ball back and forth back and forth back and forth over and over what are they doing they're developing their technique you're saying it over and over and over 
you are changed into the person who can see you're changed into the person who can do never underestimate the power of the spoken word of God it will transform you into itself you will see how and you'll never fail once you learn how to do this go to Joshua chapter 1 so here's Joshua Moses had laid his hands on him and said okay Joshua now you're gonna you're gonna go and uh, fill my shoes were those some big shoes what do you think Joshua was saying to God how am I gonna do this I don't know how to do that I don't know how to fill the shoes of someone the stature of Moses how do I do it look at this Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law the scriptures what they had at that time shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein now if it didn't depart out of his mouth it meant it was in his mouth so God told him to put those scriptures in his mouth and then to meditate on them meditate simply means to mutter so on any level he was telling him to say the word say say the word exactly what we've been talking about this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate or say it mutter it therein day and night when is that that's most of the time right day and night that thou mayest observe to do observe means to see so you will be able to see how to do let me ask you a question would he be able to see how to do if he didn't do the first part of the verse no because the saying of the word is what transports you into the new person who is able to see how to do the only reason you're not where you should be in life is because you can't see how to do it and when you see how to do it you will be completely and utterly changed into a new life a new person a new way of walking a new way of living but it all started with a new way of talking here we see thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest see how to do according to all that's written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous then thou shalt have good success then thou shalt be the kind of person that you need to be to do those things you'll be able to do it say I'll be able to do it even though right now you can't see how to do it. that's where Joshua was God said to speak his words day and night and you'd be able to see how to do it I'm telling you this works you get here it'll seem like everybody else is playing at a lower level and you can just walk through it just can't lose well as I was preparing this message an angel spoke to me and he said I'm going to help you and this is for you I'm going to help you cross over God has sent angels to help you cross over cross over into what cross over into the new you cross listen cross over into the wealthy you from the poor you cross over into the you who knows how to do and sees how to do and sees how to live angelic help crossing over from poverty into wealth from sickness into health he said I'm sent to deliver you into the new he's not de just delivering you from something he's delivering you into something say into something this is where some of you are missing it you're trying to get rid of sickness you don't need to get rid of sickness you need to get 
into health say I receive health you don't need to get rid of the poverty you need to receive the wealth say I receive the wealth the angels been sent to deliver you into the new now remember I said the word doesn't care who you are remember that the word doesn't care who you are Man, it sounds rough no that sounds right and it's that's a blessing because now you can it it isn't holding anything back from you the word doesn't care who you are angels don't care who you are in the same way that the word doesn't care angels don't care are you happy you came tonight Psalms 103 verse 20 bless the Lord you his what angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word what do angels do oh they do his commandments they do his word hearkening say hearkening unto the voice of his word who gives voice to God's Word we do we're commanded to day and night in fact and when we do we will see how to be in that new place and the angels are here to help you get there how are they gonna help you get there by hearkening unto the voice of his word by doing his commandments are you getting this angelic help 90 percent and of course i don't know the exact percentage all right so don't write me nasty letters how do i know 90 percent? i'm just saying it's it's almost 90 percent is really close to 100 percent. you know you understand that 90 percent of everything in the earth that god wants done is done by angels those are his servants look at this praise ye the lord you his angels that excel in strength and do his commandments so if he has a commandment that he's saying to do something in the earth which will be the holy ghost who's god in the earth right then who's gonna 90 percent of the time it's going to be an angel that has something to do with it does this make sense and as you and i've experienced this but as you continue to confess god's word whether it be the ones I've talked about Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it or I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place now you understand what's happening here now right those words are pointing me into the new the large place who's going to be involved in doing something about this angels well the angels will stand there and look at you and think if he keeps this up I'm gonna to have to do something about it the angels stand there and look at you as you're confessing the word of God and they think if he keeps this up I'm gonna have to do something about it so keep worshiping the Living God the Holy Ghost keep working righteousness and the angels will begin to be actively involved in your situation and take you up and establish you in the new place where you can see and you can do and you can have everything that God has promised for you let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed and as they begin to use the Word of God and keep it on their lips that they have angelic involvement causing things to prosper causing sickness to leave causing their youth to be renewed causing them to be blessed in every area of their life in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that I am blessed 
and your blessing is making me rich and adding no sorrow with it and those people who are faithful in giving shall wear that blessing and be increased and have no sorrow on them everywhere they go in Jesus name in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today